What is going on guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we are back with stage 13 of Pino's Redemption Tour here on PCM 2020. And as you can see, a very, very exciting stage today because plenty of climbs coming up, including a very tough finish to the Primary, I do believe you say. So this is gonna be a very important day in the GC. Can Thibaut hold on to yellow? Look at these race day conditions as well. What a start to the stage right here. However, I did want to go in the break and we're way too far to the back right now with pretty much all the riders I wanted to get up the roads. Madawa, maybe even Godu as well as he's 20 minutes down. Uh, but plenty of attacks taking place already right here. So then at the front of the race, as we approach the first climb today, we have Kalmajan, Pernstein, Venepool and Michael Shah. But you can see... Plenty of guys are behind, including Stefan Kung and Valentin Madawa from our squads. We have 55 seconds on this peloton, so I do believe they are letting our two riders go here. So we have now bridged to this front group, but you can see Madawa is done from the effort just to get here. So I think we're going to be dropped here with Madawa and maybe even Kung as well. As you see, the pace in all the groups right now, really, really difficult. And so then, over the top of that climb, Kung and Madawa are pretty much done, as you can see, because the Peloton are right here. So, doesn't seem we'll be joining the breakaway today. We're going to be caught by the Peloton and the big break up the road as well. So, I think we're really missing out by not being in this group here. So, the pace really hasn't been too high since we were caught with Kung and Madawa, which does mean those guys have recovered. We still have even Benjamin Tomat in this group as we have a full up throat in the break. Uh, but this does mean, as we have quite a few teammates, we need to try and pull the strings on these hills coming up, really to try and set up Pino for that ridiculous final few kilometers. We have now entered then the Cote de la Estiade, and you can see Pino still in this group along with our guys, looking pretty good. I think we're gonna have to up the effort a little bit on this climb, actually quite a lot because can see the guys on the front for Lotto, Jumbo Visma and Team Ineos really, really pushing the tempo up to this breakaway. He really don't have a big lead right now. Venable trying an attack. Uh, but Pino looking pretty good in this group. But his helpers really, really struggling at this point. So Jumbo Visma have absolutely hammered that previous climb. And you can see down to 58 riders in this group right now. Uh, the likes of Kalmajan. Gujins, Mikhail Nieve, Andre Amador as well. Very good helpers out the back for some other teams. And they're using Stephen Kreuzweig on the front right now. Look how much Stephen Kreuzweig is working just to try and set up maybe Roglic or even Dumoulin on this climb. Of course, Dumoulin currently second in the GC. All right then, as we approach this final real climb, it's a false flat section right now. And the pace really did die right there, which does mean now up to 97 riders in this group. Uh, Pino and Godou still with Madawa Reichenbach and Stefan Kung in this group. So um, I do believe we have some decent supports coming into this final climb. Here we go then, coming onto this penultimate climb on the day. And you can see it's not too difficult, at least compared to that final climb, but already up to eight and a half, nine percent right now. And we're gonna have to start using Godu to protect Tibo already. Reichenbach, Madawa, Kung already are gone. As you see, Roglic is attacking. Okay, so these guys, I don't believe are too dangerous in the GC currently. Roglic is of course five minutes down and he is Primoz Roglic. So he is super dangerous. Same with Banal, but he is much further back already at this race. Uh, but we will let them go for now at least. They're going to rely on us to do the chasing, it would seem, but we're going to try and save some energy for that final climb because we definitely want Godou on that final climb to help out Thibaut. And so we're down to 40 riders in this group with plenty more really, really weaving across the roads. Oh my, Adam Yates is done already. And that shows how difficult this stage really is. The likes of Adam Yates already going out the back. Crow's fight, he was working though. But Adam Yates, he was doing pretty well. He was seventh in the GC, already out the back here. And we do have a minute and a half already 
up to it is Primoz Roglic trying to bring himself back into this GC battle but I do believe Pino looking very very good ahead of this final effort today. So then we now have 5k to go in the stage. Godu up to 90 and Froome comes to the front despite Bernal being up the rows. Clearly as Bernal unable to take the stage win they seem happy to work. So Godu can go up to 90 and I worry I may have played this a bit too safe but in yellow don't want to take any massive risks. Anyhow, Godou can go, can go up to 95 as we now have an attack by Alejandro Valverde and Thibaut Pino will jump into the Spaniard's wheel right here. And we have a few riders off the front drop the gap with Godou as well. We're pace maybe 87 with Thibaut right now. Godou back to auto. Let's try and pace our way up this climb as Roglic has been caught. Let's just try and pace really hard up to 88. Are we dropping Roglic? It seems we are. Dumoulin is behind. Pogacar is behind. Quintana uh, trying to stay with us. Thomas is struggling. Valverde is struggling. I can't see any other result here other than a Thibaut Pino stage win up to 99. Let's just sprint for the line. What a difficult final. But Thibaut Pino finishes with so much yellow left taking more time in the GC and you have to wonder did we really play this too conservatively on a plus four day we take some time on our main rivals however could it have been more today but in yellow extending our lead really we can't complain here so I do believe for the third time at this tour Thibaut Pino on the top step of the podium maybe the second time but he's got plenty of wins already you can see some big gaps in the GC so we now have over a minute leads on Nairo Man in second, Dumoulin down to third today. So I won't lie to you guys, it's mixed feelings a little bit because on a plus four day, I maybe play that a bit too conservatively. I think we could have taken maybe some more time, but to be honest, winning a stage at the tour, taking time solo at the top of a big climb like this, you have to be happy. Winning ahead of the likes of Quintana, Valverde, Google sang as well, some very, very good punches there. So have to be happy with this one, I believe. Roglic went too early, finishing two minutes down in the end. Same with Egan Bernal. Bookman losing a lot of time today. Broom and Lander as well. We already spoke about Adam Yates as well, who absolutely self-capitulated on this stage of the tour. And so it does seem it is a big six at this Tour de France. Pogachar. Thomas, Valverde, Dumoulin, Quintana or Thibaut Pino will be the winner of this Tour de France, I do believe, bar a miracle from someone else. And we're in a very decent position. I think we can just try and maybe play defensively. But if we're on another massive good day on a climbing stage, we definitely need to try and attack, uh, maybe unlike today. And so stage 14 is a very interesting one because on paper could go either way. Could be one for the sprinters or even the punchers or maybe even the GC guys, uh, depending how this first section of the stage goes. But that hilly final, to me, it's probably for the likes of maybe Philippe or Maxi Shackman. However, guys, if you enjoyed this one today, drop a like on the video, subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I will see you guys in the next one.